Y'all you know, find these words. <laughs> In Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 2 and 3. If you have heard of the dispensation of grace of God, which is given me toward you, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery I wrote or for in a few words. Mm -hmm. In verse 17. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being moved, rooted, excuse me, rooted and grounded in love, mm -hmm. may be able to comprehend with all saints, which is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, they might be filled with all fullness of God. Our message for this season. For this time, hidden yet revealed. Okay. Hidden yet revealed. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. We adore you. Yeah. We draw nigh to you with the riches of your glory, mm -hmm. the manifestation of your presence that endows us, that the anointing that breaks the yokes and brings the utterance of words that come from mm -hmm. men and women in natural form, that your spirit may override, rule, rest in these individuals to allow your glory to be manifested, to allow the illumination of your power and your mercy yeah. mm -hmm. to be felt and experienced in times like these. Yeah. We adore you, we bless you, we magnify you, we say yes, Lord, to you and to your way. Mm -hmm. Lord, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, <clears throat> for his sake we pray. Amen. 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 Hidden, yet revealed. Yet revealed. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Well, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh -huh. I recognize that that scripture, many times we quote that scripture. Mm -hmm. this, this is not the part of the message, but it also continues with the message. Mm -hmm. Many times we lose sight of that because this is the day that the Lord has given unto us mm -hmm. with the uniqueness of who he is. Yeah. With the uniqueness of a supernatural power mm -hmm. that is omniscient. I'm not present yeah. mm -hmm. and omnipotent. Uh -huh. He's God all by himself. Yeah. The word reveals that he is able to sit on the, the universe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the earth is his footstool. Yeah. 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 And so we magnify, we glorify him in the wilderness of who he reveals unto us, of whom God is, uh -huh. was, huh. and will be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the Bible says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh -huh. God's design and God's purpose is to bring communion and fellowship with his creation. Yeah, yeah. He, does, he desires to speak mm -hmm. to his creation, mm -hmm. to reveal the heights and the depths and the widths of his love for his creation mm -hmm. through the perfection of his love, mm -hmm. through the perfection of his design for us as being his children. Mm -hmm. So throughout that day, this day is a unique day because we worship a unique God. There is none like him. Yeah, He's out and made the beginning and the end. Uh -huh. So with the uniqueness of who he is, mm -hmm. don't you realize that each and every day is a unique day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This day cannot be copied. Yeah. Well, as of the days of yesterday, yeah. it can't. we can't go back to yesterday to bring yesterday up to today. Well, well. No matter how we try to go back and bring the things of yesterday up yeah. to this day, uh -huh. we can't go into tomorrow and bring tomorrow into this day. Right. Well, so the uniqueness of the day, God's desire is to reveal himself each and every day in a unique situation uh -huh. so that it's apart from any other day uh -huh. to show you and to reveal unto you the God uh -huh. in whom we serve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The God in whom we yield to. Uh -huh. And if we don't know him, hmm. his desire is that he introduces himself in two ways. Huh. This is not the message, but I just want to give you this for a moment. Mm -hmm. right. He reveals himself in two ways. It says mm -hmm. in Romans uh -huh. chapter 1. Mm -hmm. The God is yeah. God. consciousness. Uh -huh. We recognize that there's a God somewhere. Uh -huh. The God is consciousness allows us to understand the awakening mm -hmm. of a God. Let the atheists, the agnostics, mm -hmm. and the individuals that suppress who he is. Uh -huh. But do you realize let them get in trouble. Yeah. 
Let them get in an issue that they need some help. Uh -huh. They call on God. Uh -huh. Where did that come from? From the suppression uh -huh. that is within them of the God that is awakening and revealing himself to them. Mm -hmm. The Bible says also through the creation. Well, we find out there's a God somewhere. Yeah. 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 Through the creation, we recognize yeah. there's a God. Mm -hmm. Well, Not a cataclysmic explosion brought this earth into being. Well, Not a cataclysmic explosion brought us into being. Well, right. If it did, what makes it and what causes it to consist huh. that the seasons change well, just as they ought? Mm -hmm. yeah. Think of the generations of us that pass from generation <laughs> to generation. Yeah. So you have to realize there's a God somewhere yeah. Yeah. that yeah. Has, has echoed himself in, and has revealed those things and has birthed that within us mm -hmm. through the creation. Well, so he reveals himself in two ways. Mm. So the Bible says this, so they are without an excuse. Well, so we stand before God, we can't say that we didn't know about you uh -huh. because you revealed unto us yeah. who you are, uh -huh. yeah. your glory, your purpose, and your mind. Mm -hmm. So those things that are hidden many times God desires to reveal unto us yeah. through the hidden things. Uh -huh. When he breathed the breath of life into us, well, he breathed the attributes, yeah. the spiritual unction, the spiritual gifts in such a way that not as, as the Holy Ghost will bring them to pass, but he gave attributes unto us, abilities to love, mm -hmm. for forgiveness, yeah. long suffering, all these various things he gave unto us. Uh -huh. And this design was that they're hidden in us. Hear me now, they're hidden in us. Huh. Right. And this design is that he gave them to us, he touched us. Y'all hear me now, he touched us. Uh -huh. Unlike anything else in creation, everything else he spoke into existence. Uh -huh. But with us, uh -huh. I formed you uh -huh. yeah. with my hands. Uh -huh. yeah. that the intimacy uh -huh. in which we possess with God uh -huh. is an intimate relationship that he desires for us to recognize him as being our father. Yeah. Yeah. And he looks at us as being his children. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. We're finding that that was broken. Uh -huh. But I thank God because he had a design for us. Y'all hear me? Uh -huh. When he breathed the breath into us and gave us those attributes and uh -huh. when he touched uh -huh. us. Yeah. And the design of man is to touch him back. Y'all hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Since he touched us uh -huh. in order to make our lives whole uh -huh. and complete and fulfilled, we have to touch him back. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And how we touch him back is through worship. Uh -huh. Through praise, yeah. uh -huh. through submission, uh -huh. through adoration yeah. unto the true and living God, full of yeah. grace and full yeah. of splendor. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 We're able to recognize that we didn't create ourselves. Uh -huh. We're able to illuminate through the illumination of his power and his mercy and his grace. Mm -hmm. There's a God that I'm walking with. There's a God that is awakening me to understand. Yeah. I am the Alpha yeah. and the Omega, yeah. uh -huh. the beginning and the end. Uh -huh. yeah. His design is this mm. when he speaks to us. Yeah. His desire is that we have an inclined ear uh -huh. unto how he speaks to us. As his inclined ear was to us, we cried out unto him yeah. in need of a savior. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And he provided a savior for us. Yeah, yeah. In this passage of scripture, huh. <clears throat> we find that Paul hmm. has been set apart. Yeah. Now Paul has known issues uh -huh. and situations. Huh. He has been molded and shaped in him, and God has given unto him the gifts, but he doesn't know he has the gifts yet. Do y'all hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah. He doesn't know what he has within him. Mm -hmm. So in the process, God is going to reveal those things unto him. Well, well. The hidden things. Huh. Even when he was unsaved. Do you hear me well, now? Well. Even when he was only religious. Uh -huh. The hidden things that God had given unto him. Him was embedded within him. Uh -huh. You realize this. While you was in your mother's womb, uh -huh. the Lord had placed things within you, hidden things. Uh -huh. Hidden things. Hidden things. Mm -hmm. And through the process of time, those hidden things come to fruition. Yeah, yeah. The hidden things that we don't really see any times, but by action, by us communing and fellowship with God. And through the revelation of who he is, through the experiences of life, all those things come together in such a way that it brings forth those hidden things in us so that in turn it manifests itself. And so we realize this. 
it's not me, but it's the spiritual unction, the spiritual understanding, not by my power, well, not by my might, huh. but by his spirit, yeah. said the Lord of hosts. Yeah. So we find in this passage of scripture mm. that and the whole chapter three is based on two things. Huh. Love of God well, and the love of mankind. Yeah. Huh. How we find that is because when Paul begins to write or begins to expound in such a way and he says, I thank God for the revelation for the for for the dispensation. Mm -hmm. Of grace had been established. Well, because the Gentiles that were far off, uh -huh. the Gentiles that were thought of as dogs, uh -huh. the Gentiles that had no connection with the commonwealth of Israel, uh -huh. that God had called them, called them by His grace. Yeah, and you recognize that the that the Paul that was writing this, yeah, had to also be in that dispensation of grace. You realize all of us. Uh -huh has to come on that dispensation of grace. Well, I thank God that we didn't deserve it, uh, but thank God they did. Yeah, yeah. I thank God that someone went to the cross for me yeah, yeah. when I couldn't go for myself. Uh -huh. And I realize this, past, present, and future, uh -huh. we have not came to fulfillment yet. We're uh -huh. going through the process, and the process will be fulfilled when we leave here. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So it lets me know this. We can't point our fingers uh -huh. at one another uh -huh. because we are justified mm. just as if we had never sinned mm. through Christ Jesus. Well. And so through the sanctification process, mm. he allows us to understand through the fellowship mm. of the true and living God uh -huh. that we're able to walk in the newness and the freshness of what I couldn't do, yeah. now I'm able to do it. It's not by my power my, or my, my might, uh -huh. but it's by his spirit. Uh -huh. He allowed to do these things. Yeah. Yeah. And so with the excitement, I'm believing with, that with Paul, when he said this, I thank God, mm -hmm. for he revealed something to me. Uh -huh. And what the revelation was, was the door was open for the Gentiles. Well, yeah. well. The door was open for those that was led astray, those things that people were saying that we can't fellowship well, with those folks. Uh, well, we can't separate, we be separated from them folks uh, because those folks are not like us. Uh, well, I realize that so many times in church, huh. we have that same mentality. Uh -huh. well, mm -hmm. We see people that we can't have a relationship with, yeah. fellowship with. Mm -hmm. Many times we feel so far above everyone else because we are religious. Uh, yeah. I realize this, we have been formed and shaped by issues of life. Well, to become religious. Mm. We're all religious. Mm. You can ask a person what church they belong to. Well, They'll tell you where they sit in that church. Uh -huh. Well, How many dollars possibly they may give and they are a regular church goer. Well, but the question is this. Mm. Have you been born again? All right. Yeah. All right. Have you been born again? The Lord just spoke to me this morning uh -huh. and he said this. You must be saved. Uh -huh. yeah. We have individuals in positions that have not been saved. Uh -huh. So how do you expect uh -huh. the position that they're in uh -huh. to blossom and to flourish uh -huh. if they're unsaved? If they don't they know about the person, uh -huh. but they don't know him. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. The Apostle Paul said this, that he had been saved for over 30 some years to establish churches. Uh -huh. He said that I may know him. Uh -huh. That I may know him. Basically what he was saying was this. What I knew about him yesterday yeah. was okay. Uh -huh. But I recognize that he is ever evolving within my heart and my mind. So uh -huh. in turn, he's going to show me, just as I said before, this is the day the Lord has made. He's going to show me something else about him today uh -huh. that I didn't see before in yesterday. Uh -huh. So in turn, I'm seeing him in the newness today. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to see him in the tomorrow uh -huh. in an entirely different way. Because what happens, he has allowed me to come into my life uh -huh. To allow us to see and experience him in a way that we have never experienced him before. Uh -huh. If you didn't know that you were sick, uh -huh. you wouldn't need to have a healer uh -huh. to bless you. Uh -huh. well, then when you recognize Jesus, uh -huh. heal me. Yeah. Then you recognize Jesus as a healer. Yeah. If you never was out of a situation mm -hmm. or was in need of a way to be made for you, mm -hmm. you wouldn't recognize that he's a way maker. Right. Except he make a way for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You never knew that the things that you was without that you was in need of provisions what? and you were lacking mm. and the Lord stand, stood strong on your behalf mm -hmm. 
and bless you in ways that you can never even imagine. Right. So then you recognize this. He's a provisionary God. So what you, what you recognize is this, I'm seeing the wholeness and the fullness, the fullness. of who God is. Yeah. So what I recognize is this, I can't even walk yeah. without you holding my hand. Yeah. If the Lord didn't stop by our beds this morning, yeah. where would we be? Yeah. And when he stopped, he breathed the breath of life into us and we can move and have our being yeah. through the fullness of what he provided. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's Paul is recognizing this. Uh -huh. And that is why I'm believing in what motivated him uh -huh. to have that desire, huh. that desire, that motivation, uh -huh. that love. Hmm. And the love was based upon a relationship with God first and foremost. Yeah. First and foremost, we need, we need to have a relationship with God. Well, uh -huh. The Bible awakens us and reveals unto us that we ought to be able to call him Abba. Uh, Father. Uh, uh, and the only way that comes forth is when the Spirit of God unveils that. Uh, the hidden things. Uh, he becomes our daddy. Uh, See, there are many fathers uh, in the land, uh, but a lot of the fathers do not recognize their children. Well, nor children recognize their fathers. Uh, but the child that recognizes, this is my daddy. Uh, I can put my trust in him. In my daddy. Uh, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. 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 Or what it is that we need. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking care. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We don't leave. Yes. Yes. We don't leave. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. My father has been deceased for maybe. Two years. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was. Uh, mm. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you, brother. He was a daddy. I used to like to buy things that just put together. Had the A, B, C, D, E. But I put the A with the with the G uh -huh. and the F with the S. Uh -huh. So in turn, mm. I miss it all of. Else, uh -huh. but they chose you, you hear me? Uh -huh. And they knew about your issues, 
Yeah. Your conditions. Uh, yeah. You being twisted and, yeah. and messed up and all yeah. those things. And he said this, I'm going to choose him anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use him. Uh, yeah. I'm going to allow the invisible things that I place within them yeah. to be activated at the appointed time. Uh, yeah. So that in turn they realize this. That's what the Bible says. The good things. The good things. The Lord has birthed unto us and revealed yes. unto us. Uh -huh. He will take us to the place of understanding the fulfillment uh -huh. of what God has done for us. Uh -huh. So we can look back mm -hmm. and have the testimony. Yeah. How I got over. I got How I got over. Yeah. My soul looks back yeah. and I wonder yeah. how I got over. Uh -huh. So the love of God was motivated yeah. and was revealed unto Paul. Uh -huh. But also what he realized and what he recognized was this. Uh -huh. There was a love, a perfect love mm -hmm. that is supposed to be birthed within me uh -huh. that was hidden within me. Uh -huh. I remember at times uh -huh. I would consent uh -huh. to the death of individuals. Uh -huh. I let people cast their coats at my feet yeah. when they stoned Stephen. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I was on my road to ask his road to get some more. Uh -huh. Yeah. To come back to be tried, yeah. that they would die, yeah. because we know they were going to die because of the way mm -hmm. the, the new religion. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know the way I was transformed. My eyes was I was blinded. Yeah, that I might see. You know hear me? So yeah. time, we yeah. have to be blinded, yeah. so that we can see. Yeah, yeah. because we're, we're open within our concept and our eyes are open in such a way that we perceive this uh -huh. as that. Uh -huh. But the Lord is saying, no, it's wrong, it's wrong. Uh -huh. And so he has to blind us uh -huh. to allow us to see the awakening uh -huh. of a true and living God that's full yeah. of peace uh -huh. and full of splendor. Uh -huh. Come on, yep. So as he recognized this through that transformation, mm. I was loving the wrong way. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I was loving the wrong way. So what happens is, yeah. when man fell, yeah. lust came into the earth. Yeah, yeah. The love brought perfection of love. God brought perfection of the, the purity of love. Yeah. But when man fell, uh -huh. brought forth lust. Uh -huh. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Uh -huh. So many times, the love that we profess mm -hmm. is no more than lust. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So basically, what we're saying is, I lust after you. Yeah. I don't truly love you, yeah. but I lust after you. How do you know Come that on. it's lust? Let conditions come about. Yeah, yeah. The people that say that I'll be on your side. Yeah. I'll never leave you, no know, forsake yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Those individuals are gone. Yeah. So the perfect love of not your understanding is I'm with you. I'm with you. Wherever you are. Yeah. 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 I'm with you through yeah. thick and thin. Come on. Because yeah. I love you for who you are. Yeah. yeah. Not for what you do for me. Yeah. yeah. But for who you are. Right. And so when that All love right. was revealed come on now. unto Paul. Yeah. He began to love. And what happens with the excitement yeah. and the jubilation, yeah. with the glory yeah. in which God revealed this unto him, uh, yeah. with excitement, uh -huh. the mystery of the God that had revealed this unto him, yeah. this perfect love that casts all doubt and all fear, yeah. that's when he began to tell them, mm -hmm. Gentiles, your position, mm -hmm. your place, yeah. you have a child, you have a place in the kingdom. Yeah. You're, you're the children of God. Uh -huh. Join heirs with Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. The confidence and the, and the fresh and anointing uh -huh. yeah. and with the resurrection power to recognize and realize uh -huh. that God is your God and yeah. you are his people. Yeah. And not only that, but through the intimacy, he is the Abba Father uh -huh. yeah. unto you. Yeah. And so with that in mind, mm. that's why he said this to him mm -hmm. when he revealed this unto him. Yeah. He said this, mm -hmm. I want you to grasp the truth mm -hmm. that I revealed unto you. Yeah. Because in turn, that's what God said. That's what the Lord said this. When they ask him, Lord, what are the true commandments? What are the, the right commandments? Uh, yeah. And Bussy gave it that the, the perfect law was the perfect law of love. Yeah. And his love is based upon to love God yeah. with your heart, mind, body, and soul. Uh, yeah. And to love your neighbor uh, yeah. as yourself. Uh, and upon those two. Yeah. Rest the whole law. They all have the perfect love. Yeah. But we couldn't do it ourselves. Yeah. God came down to fulfill it. He did. said, I didn't come to destroy the law, yeah. but through me mm. might be fulfilled. What I saw, we see uh, the transfiguration. Yeah. Elijah on one end, yeah. Moses on the other end, yeah. and Jesus in the middle. Yeah. We see the law of God given yeah. through Moses. Yeah. 
we see the transformation uh, or the turning around uh, of the law uh, that would touch individuals yeah. to recognize that they need something else mm. that they didn't have. Uh, yeah. And then we find the fulfillment yeah, yeah. of the law in Christ Jesus. Yeah. 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 I came to fulfill it, yeah. uh -huh. not to destroy it. When you couldn't keep God, uh -huh. when you couldn't, by your religion, uh -huh. you were blind trying to find him. Uh -huh. yeah. But the Bible says, I was so close to you the whole time. Yeah. And thus he revealed himself through that perfect love. Yeah. And that perfect love, in turn, mm -hmm. he said this, I bow down. Yeah. And I'm praying yeah. with a fervency. Yeah. Hear me now. Yeah. I'm praying with a fervency. Yeah. Yes, with a... Come on, my Lord. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. Yes, yeah. sir. Take your time. Your word. Yeah. With the fire. Yeah. With the glory. Yeah. That's been birthed. Yeah. With the joy. Yeah. That has been unveiled unto me. Yeah. The hidden things. Yeah. Are now emerging within me. Yeah. And that's what I'm able to say to you. Mm -hmm. And I bow down. I'm motivated. Yeah. To be a, to bow down. Yeah. And to pray for you. Yeah. That in turn you will have the understanding and revelation yeah. of the heights yeah. and the depths yeah. Yeah. and the widths uh -huh. of my love uh -huh. for uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. What we find is the complete love. Uh -huh. yeah. The complete love emerges. Uh -huh. yeah. And perfect love uh -huh. casts it all doubt and all fear. Uh -huh. And with that perfection uh -huh. of love, yeah. we find the Bible says this. Uh -huh. Then in turn, uh -huh. you'll be able to grasp yeah. the fullness, the point of the fullness yeah. of who I am. Uh -huh. yeah. And you can walk to the richness yes, of what I provided to you as being the Alpha yeah. and the Omega, yeah. uh -huh. the beginning and the end. Yeah. 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 I welcome you into my heart and mind as I yield unto you yeah. through that perfect love that casts out all doubt and all fear. Uh -huh. And the assurance, yeah. blessed assurance. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is mine. That's right. Oh, what a foretaste uh -huh. of glory, glory divine. Yeah, yeah. All he wants us to do yeah. is to allow what he's given unto us. Yeah. To allow it to open up. Uh -huh. Because what he's given unto us yeah. is he's given us the benefits, mm -hmm. his provisions, yeah. mm -hmm. his revelation unto yeah. us. That it was once hidden. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. But now it is being revealed yeah. to us yeah. that in turn we can walk into the illumination. Amen. If God be for me, yeah. then who could be against me? Yeah. Yeah. Greater is he that's within me than he is yes. in the world. Yeah. And now yeah. us to be able to have a smile on our face yeah. and the excitement and the cataclysm of his joy yeah. and his glory overshadows us. Yeah. And here's the thing, in closing, in the midst yeah. of where we live, yeah. we live in small areas. Yeah. And you might be going through something. Yeah. And so everybody supposedly knows what you're going through. Yeah. If they don't know, they look on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter. Yeah. Because somebody has put on there an attitude yeah. or taken away from yeah. what you're going through. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they come to, to you and ask you this. Uh -huh. How are you able to smile yeah. in the midst of what you're going through? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. How are you able, <laughs> yeah. How are you able yeah. to have a song? Yeah. Well, that resonates yeah. uh -huh. from your spirit uh -huh. yes. and the issues that you're going through. Yeah. And the Bible says this, mm -hmm. to be ready uh -huh. to give an answer yeah. to why you believe uh -huh. that you believe. And what yeah. it is this, mm -hmm. I realize mm -hmm. that the hidden things uh -huh. that God revealed unto me uh -huh. and that the appointed time he allows those hidden things mm -hmm. to be manifested yeah. in such a way that I realize this, uh -huh. I'm walking the fullness. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm a God that loves me. Uh -huh. God, bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.